you don't actually have a t at and Yeah, no, no at and here, thank God. That's that I won't mention. Any that's deciding that internet doesn't need to actually be purchased, pay us and then don't get anything. <laughs> We're not gonna mention Verizon, that would be stupid. That could be worse. Seriously, it could be worse. Your, your internet service provider could have been bought by a different internet service provider. There's an area, it could always be worse. At least you don't have to use Centrelink. The fuck is Yeah, Centrelink? that would be worse. That's, what that, do you, that's, 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 that's what do you mean, what the fuck is Centrelink? Even, I've heard stories, I, they're dark, uh, man. Guys, we are alive. Oh, oh we are? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, oh, by the way, uh, when I said let's fuck shit up, that was the sign to go live. I probably should have said something more clear. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Oh, at least you're Hi, everyone, and welcome to this stream is demonetized for, thank God they're not sponsoring this. Do you have a sponsor? Nope, and now I never will. will. Yeah, good. You do not need <laughs> a sponsor. Why not? You need, you need a sponsor, don't you? be fair, if I was being I sponsored by AT&T or Verizon, I would kind of just, you know, end the stream there. You know, perfectly fitting for their service. Here's an idea, why don't you try to get a sponsorship by Bad Dragon? It would be one of a kind. Yeah, that's I mean, listen, it's an idea. I mean, one thing, which is, God. I don't know. Sponsoring some, uh, what's called... Oh my god, again. that's a huge fucking mosquito! Kickstarters. Okay. Oh, I'm very I mean, back on trick. Hey, hey guys, we've got a giant. I got a giant fucking mosquito in my apartment. I'm gonna have to kill it real quick. No, no, hey, makes sense. Priorities, man. Mosquito. All initiative. It looks fucking giant under this. Okay. Uh, it looks like I the know, mosquito has initiative perfect. and a crit advantage. <laughs> it might only have four health say... points, but goddamn, is an AC of thirty impossible? We have. But we... mm. I think I just okay. may have killed it. You know what? I'm just gonna keep killing myself. That it helps me sleep at night. Remind me to close the window later. Anyway, I'm ready to die now. All right. You mean real life sure. or in game? Because uh... you hurt him. I kill him. Kill him now. But he's not going into the tavern. How can I kill him? No Doesn't way. matter. There's always a bigger fish. Do it. You know, the fact that you mentioned there's always a bigger fish, and I know damn well who was behind this whole thing that led us to this goddamn tavern. We're gonna have to agree. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> um, Quantum, how, still not being able to hear us, or is... Can't really... I can hear you. Roll 20 is just not loading at the moment. It's slowly uh, oh. loading up. Ah, shape. I had that happen a couple times when I was doing some stuff where it was just constantly in a black screen, so I had to close it and re, re log in. That's what I just did. I'm just letting it load back up, but the map takes a while, a little while to load, so. Oh, yeah, that's the big one, the big water, water deep map. Okay. It's not that big. Okay then. So, any hodl, going doing a quick recap of what happened last time. You guys woke up the next day after Croker got assaulted in a um, more deep back alley. Um, Croker when, was, you, well, when you put it like that. He was um, left broken and weeping. Um, you got Croker discussed things with the local with the local town watch. Um, you guys then go to um, the one magic shop, Itis's Nexus, and start buying magic items like No Tomorrow. Jackie gets his explosive gauntlets. Um, Croker gets a giant lightning rod mace. And Zin gets a life-stealing short sword. E. And then you guys start asking around town trying to find the person whom croker described as um the soul the person croker named as the soul soul catcher whom he believes to be the one to have sent these assassins after him um asking around 
um, you are led to the, um, you guys are led into the, I keep forgetting the name of the goddamn sh district, the ward, the dock ward. You guys are led into the dock ward where you guys, where you figure, find out that you are being tailed, which after not too long, you guys managed to catch the one who is tailing you and get them to explain exactly what is going on. Um, as well as where their employer might be, leading you to an underground tavern still within the dock ward, which you are about to enter right now. For three of you are entering, Kalga, Jackie, and Erebus, the latter of the the latter two are gonna be are invisible. And then Croker, Peaches, and Zinn are staying outside. Is this correct? Yep. And for helpful reference, we put little mark on the map to say who's going where. Um, well, my character sheet's loading in, I think, but I have a black screen, so. Like, the map was there, and it disappeared for me, so I don't know what just happened. He's playing cat and mouse with you. Ugh. I'm hey, you're, you're and you're people not say Germans hard. aren't funny. Alrighty. Hey, I'm not German. What are you talking about? You're German adjacent, close enough. By that All logic, right. you're German adjacent. Same okay. continent. Moving on from that conversation. So, you guys find yourselves onto uh, this map. Let me know if there are any issues with being able to see. There's a map. Uh, I see. I, I don't know why, but the second you said that. Oh, hey, it loaded. Why? Oh. Apple. This uh, looks like a kitchen. <laughs> this looks a bit scuffed. Hold on. All right. Ew. Oh, no, loaded. never mind. It's dynamic lighting. That's what it is. Oh, no. Uh, the the form which we can see, this looks like a kitchen. Wait, I'm drawing this real quick. Dynamic lighting. My one of many weaknesses. Area this, <laughs> this, this is the form I am seeing, and it looks like a kitchen knife. Yep. <laughs> Here, I'll help out. This is what I see right now. Oh, it, lo oh, it looks like a kitchen knife. Okay, I get, I get what he's saying. <laughs> I was not expecting uh, that reaction. Goddamn. We got a boomerang map. <laughs> I'm not necessarily the sharpest knife in the crayon box, okay? Okay. <laughs> but anyways, getting back onto it, you... The way that this thing is structured is you have the building on top and then you have stairs leading down to a lower level where you see a door. Presumably, the, as well as you see the sign above the door, presuming that this is the exact same tavern. Alright. I am... Booming. I am proceed to enter. Okay, you are going to enter. And while they do that, I think our group is sliding around to the left or the right. Um. Uh, hmm. Let's try the left. Left it is. Uh, there's nothing bad on the left, at least. All right. Let's make the cat go first. Oh, good idea. Peaches? You have to move so you have peaches. to move it for me. I'm not early in roll twenty. Oh. AI, can you move peaches? Yep. A AI kindly move peaches. I Pick move up peaches. the kitty. We're we're gonna have to we're gonna we're gonna use we're gonna use the cat for cannon fodder. Don't okay. you mean cat and so fodder? Oh. Okay, so let's get get things going. Start off with the group who is Start off with the group who's outside. Um, looking around the building, you don't see any connection points. It just seems like a um, rectang like a rectangular building. You're able to do a quick walk around. Um, There's no windows. To the none that look to be for this underground tavern area. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Hmm. Have you been to a lot of underground taverns with windows? I hear the rock is lovely on the sunny days. I've, I've been to at least one. 
Oh yeah, I've been there. So yeah, like I said, fairly uneventful, just kind of casing the, casing the place. Moving on to the group going inside. Um, for Erebus and Jackie, I need you guys to give me a stealth roll with advantage. As you guys are still invisible. I forgot about that. 19. Well, like I said, I am taking my previously eight perception rolls for looking around if I see the guy. Um, you see a lot of guys. None of them seem to match the description. Well, then I'm gonna head the bartender. Okay. See if her. See her. I wouldn't necessarily Jack say Jack, but you see a fairly well built, um, well built man. Um, he asks, "What can I do for you?" I want to have a drink, please. Sure. What do you want? The uh, an ale, please. Yep, coming right up. Um, you just want a mug? Yes. And Evil then. Copper. Uh, again? Four copper. Oh, four copper. Okay. Also, I have a question. Did you perhaps saw someone entering and I describe how the person looks like? Um, I was at the, 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 the assassin and I'm saying I was um, planned to meet him here and I was wondering if he has already arrived or is still coming. Uh, sorry. Um... The quantum, that is not a good speed. Anyways, um, could you repeat that question? Sorry. Okay. If he has seen the assassin, uh, if the assassin already came or it uh, hasn't showed up yet, but I'm not saying it's the assassin, just how the guy looks. And I'm pretending to say that I am was said to meet him here. Uh, you want to meet the boss? Yeah, that was... I was told. See, I see. Uh, give me a minute. I'll get... I'll go... I'll give him a haul right after I get to you... Get you your... Get you your drink. Begins to... Turns around to go through the shelf to... Start pouring your ale. Um... Okay, so Airbus gave you a self roll. With a bandage. Yes. Okay, I was just helping my mom with some boxes. Cool. Who needs help? Alright, so 16. Um, feel free to move to where you want to there, Airbus. You know what? It's, it's incredibly tortured. Like, I don't say what's going on. What was that, Vic? No, uh, I thought you were entering the tavern there, Erebus. Hold on a second. Someone's trying to call me. What are they okay, calling you? Are not in road. Road. I'm in rule 20 now. So it's just a black screen. But I can still see there's people's tabs. I can see my marker underneath the black layer. Um, oh. question. Is it maybe black screen because it's dynamic gliding and you have not your token on the map uh my token's mm -hmm. on the map it's right here yeah i was just pointing at it it looks oh, like more okay. a standard case of tech issues like i i can see people's pings i can see the chat it's updating i can move my token i just can't see it once i let go of it okay all right, so... all right. So like right now, I just see a square when AI just moved my token, I assume. I assume. Okay, sorry about that. Um, okay. 
Everything good on your end, Quantum? Uh, besides the black screen, I can't see anything? Yes. Let me do something about that. What is your... Uh, you don't have vision. And you, cats have night vision, 60 foot? Uh, yeah. There we go. There All we good. go. Yep. Alrighty. Okay, so going back, to, going back to things. All right, so. All right, so as he, so as the bartender goes to turns around, um, Kaga, if you want to make a, if you want to make a perception check, you're free to do so. Yes, boss. Uh, perception and hmm, decent. You hear, so I'm only doing this for Kalga. The other two, since you guys are, because of your positions, you don't need to do so. Um, Kalga, you hear, you hear the sound of at least five, um, five individuals moving, almost at a roughly the same time, and you hear at least one of them, um, at least one set of footsteps hanging up to you but you get someone tapping on your shoulder it's like you're here to see the boss that what i was told yes well we've been we've been waiting for quite a while now so no getting in line as this one this little punk here is going to try and swing at you What do you do, Cal? Okay. Oh, oh now we're gonna swing. God damn it. Why is I didn't have to? Why is it swing and a miss? Yeah, pretty much. If only one was a crit. Also, that's private. That's, that's new. Yeah, also, yeah that was hey, guys, I must commend your bravery. You're finally rolling in public again. Nope. Okay. Really? That was. Coward. And suddenly it became a critical roll. Wow. Now, keeping it, even though... Okay, so that... So yeah, he... I know it says Scimitar, but... Um, forgot to add that here. Um, he tries to he tries to punch you, Kaga, and you manage to duck out of the way. And as you turn around, you see that the whole lot of the group... Um, standing up, looking at you. Anything that you would like to do? Well, I came here for a drink and to meet somebody, and now I have a bar fight. <sighs> like the old bounty hunter days. Mm. I like the fact that this is not uncommon to you. Oh, I am drinking a sip of my ale mug and then just pour the rest on this guy's face. Okay. Also, um, question, is this a door or is this like stairs? Um, what are you looking That's a door. Okay, so you are attacking this guy? Uh, yeah, sure, let's go for it. And I'm saying it now, if I manage to beat any of them i am doing it non-lethally okay all right nope uh yeah those numbers nope. look familiar I just wanted to move my character behind him to give calic advantage um i would say you can like you would see you like i said you two are in a position where you would have no noticed this long before, so if you wanted to do a shenan if you wanted to do a setup, you could. Up oh, and so no, we'll, count these first, we'll count these first two rolls as just one attack. Okay, then now the extra attack is coming. Fourteen. 40? 
Let's do your hair. Let's do your hair. 14 against this guy. That hits. Okay. And I am going to make him get some buggies in biting him. Uh, okay. Oh. okay. And bonus action, Dagger. Can I, uh, can I try and perceive the, the commotion? Well, I'd say the door is open, so if you want, if you guys want to make make that, you can. So, All right, then. okay, so, Kaga, how are you non-lethally attacking this guy with the dagger? Having him in the leg. With, with the butt of the dagger. It's not rocket science. Okay, so you are... What do you so mean you rocket surgery? Him. This guy is unconscious with that second attack. And now, seeing this, these guys are... Yeah, these guys are definitely looking at the situation... Uh, they still do not see Jackie or Erebus, so they are focused entirely on you, Kaga, and you get the sneaking suspicion that the barkeep is also um, is also turning his way towards you. Um, Croker, with that perception, you would know that you would hear the commotion going on inside. So, I'll, so you can, so if you want to, you can. Well, Zin, um, you want to uh, Zin, I can hear trouble. I think it's time that we go and cause chaos. Uh, not yet. I still want to check out the back, see if anything's coming around. Then, now. I'm sure they're fine. Jackie's in there with Cal and Erebus. I said, now. Okay. I pack um, Croker on the back and drag the... him forward. Okay, so whoever is going inside, well, whoever is doing anything that is inside, well, initiative. Well, I guess they can handle themselves. I don't want to blow my cover just yet. I mean, I'm, I am the fucking, I'm the fucking one that they were trying to kill. Well, seems like I am unwanted here. Wish I could have gone to the next floor. Oh, you're in, you're definitely wanted here, young man. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm. Also, I don't know if it was obvious, but this was a little hint for Jackie and Erebus to proceed to the door. Which door? That one. Uh, okay. Back door. Because next floor. <laughs> okay, so, um, Zin, are you rolling? Kill the dungeon under the tavern. Uh, while they're doing this, can I just... Walk around and explore the outside. Yeah, you you can do that. I'm gonna fucking go inside. I'm gonna blow my cover right now. You're free to do so. However, I did describe that you guys were able to Kate kind of do a loop around the building. Okay. During that loop, do we find anything? Um, as I said, while well, you guys were looking for windows that peep into the underground area, you do not find any, and you do not find any obvious door, any other doors, or mm. entrances connecting into this building. At least the lower section. Oh, nothing suspicious. Would have had one time to use um, or uh, wrong character. I was going to see if I had detect magic, but that's a different character. Damn it! Ah. But I have time to do an investigation check before we catch up to now. Are you trying to investigate? Yep, or perception, whichever one you prefer. What are you trying to find? Anything out of the ordinary, like. Uh, hidden doors, hidden walls, hidden uh, latches. Non-standard entryways we might have missed. Well, that's not a terrible idea, actually. Okay, give me two rolls with that. First, give me a history roll. With disadvantage, since you are not a water Davian. Sounds good. Can I give him advantage because I'm a water Davian? I'll give you... He can get a normal roll. Uh, can we re-roll that? Which is an eight. So, what? 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 Wow. Unfortunately, with that, you do not know how um, some of the 
some of the under some of the um i i want to say um some of the under how the underworld operates in what in water deep um so you don't know if it could pop um how they might set up any of their areas okay. if there might be any house secret doors or anything and what was the second roll the second roll i would say give me a now this is going to be with disadvantage so give me a perception roll would i get advantage due to having more awareness of this kind of setup if not the city no that's what the history was for oh well really yeah, the buildings really? around here look, the buildings around here look fairly similar so you can't no no them stand up Anyways, <sighs> they all look a fish okay so getting to the battle order yeah i'm, I'm gonna so i'm still gonna go with that it's it's okay so jackie what would you like to do you are the first you're the first oh, ready in this whole almost situation. forgot Oh, then it is. I'll go after Jack. He says he was going first initially. Okay, then. And that's the crit of the day. Now we can only miss. I've been missing a lot already. Well, you're still used to crit of the day. Crit of the day. Yeah, I'm also just passing my turn first, so it's up to Jack. Yeah, Jackie. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Oh, he's a ninja. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spend two key points to activate rage. Oh, God damn it! What? You think I'm gonna back down from a fight? For once, I would hope. Have we and met Jackie before? Sword. What was the okay. point of making you invisible if you're just going to fight anyway? Okay, well, so... Okay, so 18. Are you, I'm assuming you're attacking the guy behind you? Yes. Alrighty. Are you doing the same thing as Kalka, or you don't care? I think we all know the answer. Yeah. Yeah, okay then. Honestly, I'm... Oh, wait, no. Ten, ten magical slashing. Yep, okay. Actually, you may... it be 12 since it's rage. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, no, you... This guy is moving in, and you just appear out of nowhere before he has even... Before he has time to react. You just cleave a cleave right through, like diagonal along the torso, and he's dead. Man, moving on to the next one. My God, Ryden. Oh, that rules of that. nature intensifies. Yeah, that's yeah. going to miss Jackie. He is seeing you and. You just go to stab into him, and he quickly just he quickly brings up the chair and knocks it away, just barely hitting him. Because you referenced that, I need to say this, and I apologize. Give him the chair! Ah, damn it! All right, anything else, sir, Jackie? Give me no fucking. All righty then. Um, Zin. Uh, let's see. Five or ten? Five? Nice. I think I can make it here. Yep, that's my movement. That's it. Do you not want to dash? I forgot I could do that. I, okay, I, then I dashed. I'm, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna refrain from making any comments about Harrier's IRL intelligence score. Be honest. Okay. We know it's closer to accurate than not. I mean, okay. I was gonna be the one to say it, but yeah, kind of. Okay. Anyways, so that's gonna be your action and movement. 
you have any bonus actions you would like to do or no? Um, I used them on my rage. Uh, no, this time, um, Zen. Oh. <laughs> uh, there was, I think it's one of the skills I haven't used a lot, but I'm honestly getting if this is the character or a different one since we're running three different campaigns. All right. Well, if you don't want, have anything you want to use, then let's move on. Peaches. Yeah, I'm good passing. Alrighty, I'm going to move to the doorway here, so I can actually see what's happening inside. Okay. And I see this enemy here. That is an enemy, correct? Um, you can assume it. so. Jackie is trying to stab him. All right, then I'm just gonna fire off an Eldritch blast at him. Alrighty. <laughs> Where is that at? Spells. Nine damage. And Thirteen does hit. Second. All right, and then the second one. Eighteen definitely hits. You're doing this non-lethal, or are you doing this lethal? I see the dead one, so I assume it's already lethal. So I'm just going to go for it. Makes sense. First attack, he's busy trying to dodge Jackie. You shoot him right in the midsection with the first shot, and then when he turns to see the cat, you've already fired the second beam, and it goes right between the eyes. And that's my turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll go. Ah, fuck's sake, I'm jumping on the table. So I have the high ground and attack him. Okay. <laughs> you now have the high ground. 14, that hits. Uh, all right, my little fellas. Fight him. Oh, look. As he is just struggling with bees in the eye. I'll give him credit. That would be something I would struggle with too. 22, that's going to hit. And bonus action, off and dagger attack. Uh, that is going to hit. You're, you, you, you're marking, you're marking this guy up. He has, some, he has some armor on, but you're just getting around that with little to no issue. It would be wise for you to surrender. Broker. Well, I think it's pretty obvious what I have to do. Oh dear god. Uh, almost there. Running down the stairs, running past Zin. I see the chaos unfold. What happened to the concept of subtlety? I'd like to use a well, free action, tap him on the shoulder, and just remind him, us. Well, to be fair, Jack is the one who did first blood. I was just having a drink and asking where the guy is. God damn it, Jackie. Anything else that you'd like to do there, Croker? What the hell else? Wait, hold on. Hunter's Mark is a bonus action, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing that I have that. I'm gonna Hunter's Mark. Uh, which one looks more dangerous, that guy or the bartender? I mean, if we're talking about current condition, these two look possibly more dangerous. If we're just looking at overall danger level, bartender. Yeah, I'm gonna Hunter's Mark the bartender. All right, you're Hunter's Mark and the bartender. I yep, gotta, gotta mark. make sure he doesn't add any more barks. Stupid question, how does a hunter's mark visualize? Is it like the a laser pointer? Which is then okay. on the body? Actually, I would leave that up to Croker, however, if you were to ask me, I would say like there's a bullseye just pictured on on the like the on the target. Like it it all it changes position based on where the um where Croker can see him. So it's basically always visible, but kind of view it like that. Okay. I mean personally I just imagine Croker gains the attention span that I never had. 
Nothing really too visual about it. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no. What, uh, what the hell else am I gonna do? Okay. This is now the bartender. He is looking. He is looking up. He's like. Hmm. Yep. He is going. To, he is going to get to right here. He's gonna take. He's gonna take a swing at you, there, Calga. Mm -hmm. He ha he has a mace on him, so he is going to take two swings. Seventeen and eleven. Both miss. I'm pairing okay. it with my scimitar. Ding ding. And he is going to try and. He's going to try and use the. Use the chair here as kind of a foothold and try to jump onto the table. Kalga, if you want to get an attack of opportunity. Of course. Uh... Hmm. 21, that hits. Nine. Lethal or non-lethal? Non-lethal. Okay. You knock, you knock him. As he's trying to escape, you you quickly do the um, back of the dagger, uh, back of the neck thing, and he passes out mid mid jump onto the table and so he is just sprawled out on the table. Fuck sake, Kalaga. That. Okay. Next up the remaining two. They are going to They're seeing the situation unfold. Let's see here. They knocked themselves out. <laughs> Well, if they were smart, they would probably do that. Okay, let's see here. I had a roll. Uh, you, you saw nothing. The AI, is, the AI is testing their morale like I'm fucking... Calling it now. This guy is going to... This guy is going to try and run up, jump onto the onto the bar table and he is going to take it he's going to try and swing it yeah well he's gonna die braver than most people <laughs> nope he 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 tries to punch you Kalga, but you just kind of catch you just kind of catch the hand see him and then the other guy is going to go is gonna go into the go to the door and just slam it open and then you hear another door Opening up, and wish, then quickly shutting. Wish somebody, I wish somebody went to, through that door, and I hope somebody did. I really hope so. You know what the fuck he's implying? I got no idea. Uh, probably nothing. Okay. Something important. So that's gonna be that. Anyways. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just take care of this guy. Okay, so Ooh. you're breaking invisibility. I would note he is on the high ground, so you are you are looking right at his shins. Oh, like his Achilles heel. Oh, that's one way to put it. Damn. God damn! Jesus, Erebus. How do you want to do? How do you want to destroy this guy's shins? <laughs> you just went full Achilles on him. Well, no, Achilles got yeah, yeah. Achilles got sniped. Yeah, technically you went full Hector yeah. on him, but yeah. Or I guess Paris. He's the one who shot the arrow. Well, I just, I just uh, break invisibility, slash at his to his heel, and say. Uh, well, this could have gotten worse. I thought we were going to approach this situation with subtlety and nuance. Hey, so did I, but I'm not the one who threw the first punch. Nor was it Kelga. Though it didn't help the situation either. Hell, what the? Hey, did I take me first? I just defended myself. So they just attacked you out of the blue. No provocation. No, I just ordered a drink, ask where the guy is, and then they attack me. And now I'm getting to this guy. Get out of here! 
Actually, it's my turn next. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say that combat has pretty much ended for this round. Yeah, this is why I... I am about to dash follow-up. Okay, hey, uh, uh, DM, can I, can I roll inside to see if they were perhaps expecting us? Um, you are free to make that inside roll. Calgo, what are you doing? I'm going, another fucking I'm going after oh the God. guy. Okay, you're going after the guy. Um, based on good. kind of based on your knowledge of kind of of sound, you kind of figure that it's at the store. All right, then I attempt to open the door widely. Open the door, okay. Calaga. Okay, give me a strength roll against this guy. You that door ain't budging, my friend. Move aside. I said the assassin has gone away because you wanted to fight the more athletics. Um for this well, it depends. How are you going about this? Are you just trying to just open, I guess, how do you describe that you want to do this? Basically, using my rage, which is still going on, I'm just going to push against the door and with my hands and then push against this wall with my foot. Okay, I would say that's good for athletics. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you know what? Now, now I want to try it. <laughs> I'm even scrawnier than Jackie, and I'm and I'm probably gonna fucking I'm probably gonna fucking fail this honestly. When he fails that, there's Never something mind. I'm gonna do. Okay, so this is a push door. So, Jackie, you you do this. The push from the outside or the inside? Uh, push inside. <sighs> and you. You overpower this guy as he gets knocked back and the door flies. Oh, damn. I was hoping Jackie would have failed. No, this guy failed worse. Oh, where <laughs> is he? And I'm pointing just my blade at his face. Cow, cow, calm down. I'm not gonna kill him for now. Again? Yeah, well, how about I'm the one who asked the questions? It's me who the who the boss was trying to kill. He's in, he's in the other room. He's in the other room. He's in the other room. All right. Is, is, it, is All this right. door locked? Um, the door is shut, but it's not locked. Activate the hardened body fortress before I open the door. Don't open the door yet. I have one more question for our little um thug friend here. Who else is in the room? Just him and his bodyguards. And how many apart and how many bodyguards are there? Just one. Just one. Yeah. See, isn't honesty much better? Now go, now go ahead and go turn yourself in, and I'm gonna hunt you down in the night, and I'm going to show you what cement shoes feel like. He is running. <sighs> Another good deed done for the day. Calling it now. These guys are unrelated. Hey, okay, so. Jackie, uh, I'm gonna, right, also, I'm gonna knock an arrow. I'm gonna prepare. I'm gonna prepare an action to shoot the quote unquote bows. Before they yes, do that, I, mind I if I try sign? Okay, so just so that I have everything under, Jackie is doing hard and iron, iron body fortress. Um, hard body fortress. Hard and body fortress. I keep getting them mixed with iron. Um, Parker is knocking an arrow, and then Zin, what are you doing? I want to wake this guy up. Karen Lanka. Let's see here. How long is that going to take? I'm just going to pat, 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 and just keep patting his face until he wakes up. 
You're going to be doing this for a few minutes now. Ah, uh, not worth it then, damn. I'm cocking the boat guy. Uh, I, I, I'm never letting this go. I know. After he's not cocking the boat. Just make sure to pick up the shells when you're done. It's wasteful otherwise. <laughs> After I give up on patting this guy, go into the back behind the bar. Urging it. Okay. Well, while you're doing that, Jackie, since your thing is on a time limit, yep. um, what do you wish to do? Open the door. You are opening the door. He opens the door. And the door shall open. The door is open. Kept open by that, that's strangely ominous. So Whoa. you know, for opening a door. Just yes. yeah. yeah, that's a bit too ominous for my like. Okay. Did a sudden mist wall appear? Oh. Okay, so entering entering in. Oh hey, it's you again. You see the guy, this time not this time not masked. Looks to be, looks to be a fairly decently built um, elf. Um, same features as before. Um, he looks to you with a fairly quiet smile. Like, huh. So you're the ones making that noise. Yeah, sorry about that. I was just curious about uh, who did you say it was? The catcher. Oh, you're asking about him. Yeah, asking about him. Seeing if you, uh, seeing if you'd be willing to relinquish that contract with him. Yeah, that's gonna be up with the guild itself. No, not necessarily me. I'm just the one who who is one of the people who picked it. Now, oh, anyways, you've got, you've come all all this way here, and that's all you're asking for. Do you plan on leaving or? What I'm planning to do is I'm planning to find the catcher and I'm planning to t and I'm planning to see if I could catch his soul for a change. Well, well I wish you the best of luck in that. You seem quite you see, you lot seem like quite the professionals. Um, professional can... is a uh, loose term. Question, can I incite him if he is not giving out information or that he's still hiding some stuff about the uh, guy who gave him the job? Um, sure, give me an insight roll. The game. Oh, absolutely. He's being tight left about this. Well, I'm telling you this. If you don't want anything happen to you, I would advise you you start spilling it. Hmm. Okay. Usually when I do information information exchanges, no, it has to be some... I usually like to offer a drink. However, I think I got something a bit but I think I've got something a bit better for the occasion. Uh, AI. Yes. Who's this guy? Bodyguard. Oh. Bodyguard. You see him standing in the corner, fairly built. Not as built as you, Jackie, but this guy. This guy looks like he. He's got. He's got some muscle on him. Looks like he does pit fights on a Saturday night. Um, All right. Hey. Uh, and. Could you guys move out of the doorway, please? Okay. Um, I would if the, if the DM would let me. Oh, well, speaking about that, hey Jackie. Yeah. Um, since you are the one there, um, give me a perception roll. Okay. As he as he says that, Jackie. Um, from where the from where the door is, and I would just say I would just describe the door as kind of um, it's inward to the left. Um, you f you kn you feel the the rush of air as the door slams shut, and next to it, 
see oh, another, another one. see another guy. And second round initiative, go. Oh my god. Am I still in this? Been nice knowing you, Jackie. Okay, I can't roll anything too good anymore. Looks like the 24 was the only good roll I have for today. You know Excellent. what's funny, Vic? We what? both rolled the same initiative, initiative roll. Oh my god, roll. This, again? Yes! <laughs> well, this is a trend. Hey, I am the ranger of the party. You're just the uh, other ranger. <laughs> All ranger yeah, party. Ranger. Okay, you re hey, uh, you really need to learn to cover this up. Also, I knew it was a fucking gladiator. Yep, pretty much. Oh, okay, great. There goes the high rolls. Don't okay. worry, Vic. You had at least one nat zero in there. Okay, is this guy... Did I fuck up with this guy? Come on. Need to check. I have, I have made a horrible mistake. Okay. As for that guy, what do you guys say we turn him into some arts and crafts and send him over to Zan to the Xanathar as a little gift? Okay, so let's see here. Uh, Peach is in. Um, okay, so I still need Erebus and Kalga. Kalga oh, okay. okay, so I just need... Erebus and one, two, three, four, five. Yep, just Erebus. Yep, sorry, my internet cut out for a second. Ah, seems to be a trend today. Only today? I'm the only one. I'm the only one who doesn't have that problem. I just jinxed. It. Okay, yeah, so you definitely jinxed. So what just what just happened? Okay, so to explain what just happened, um, they had an ambush planned. Not necessarily a good one, but right now there is a door blocking the rest of you, and Jackie is in the room with three other individuals. Mm. Victor, two, want to... two burly men and one skinny son of a bitch were about to turn into a goddamn art exhibit. Vic, I'll let you decide. Do you want to roll a d20 to see who of us two is going first, or do you want that we do it simultaneously? Where? Because uh, we have the same roles. You guys can work that on your own. God damn it. <laughs> or this is why you should probably move when you're inside a small room outside. I'm, I'm not going to be rolling good today at all. I'm rolling before you do. Stop whining. Okay, so anyways, Peaches, it's your all turn. Alright, so the door is shut, you said? Yes. And I <laughs> would have to push it open, I assume? Or would Jackie need to move first? Um, I would say given this whole thing, yeah, there you would need Jackie and this guy would need to move before, really before you guys could start moving. Okay. Um, then I can I hold my action to attack the first enemy I see once the door is open. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. So with that Jackie. Opening the door. Okay, you open the door. Move here. Okay. Oh, my. oh I can't shoot my bow. <whistles> okay, nap to 20. So, seven, so 19 damage on this book. Yep. Ah. Uh. And an additional 15. Okay. Well, it's open the door bonus section. Um, I would say that, I'd say, yeah. Okay. Then I'm gonna move over to... Also, can Peaches now see this guy? Uh, sure. Peaches I can barely see him. On, I can barely see him on my screen, but yeah, I can't see the outline of him yet. You wanna make an attack? Yeah. Okay. I'll go ahead and use my attack. Uh, 
There's a cat at the bottom of the energy border. <laughs> Lazy okay, cat. So 23 Astral Blast. Okay, so that 22 and 23, both of those are going to hit, so 12 damage. Alrighty. And I think that will be... Eh, actually, yeah, I think I'm good for now. Alrighty. So, it is our gladiator, boys. Uh, I was still going to move. What? I was still going to move. Yeah. How good? Yeah, I'm going to move over. going to risk an attack of opportunity and move over here. Okay. It's going to throw a punch at you. Um, that's a 19 is not going to hit, unfortunately, for him. Nope. Oh. The gifts. Okay, anything else there, Jackie? No, that is my turn. Get to okay. So it is going to be our gladiator boy's turn. I see this, and he is going to get up right into your faces. Um, he is going to try and punch Erebus. Well, that's just mean. So it is going to try and punch 16. Let me just check that. Yeah, I have uh, yeah, 16 hits. Do you have shields, maybe? Uh, no. Okay. 17. Wait, he deals 17 damage? No, he punched he, second attack for 17. That also hits. Okay. And then third attack. 22. That also hit. It's what the hell. You take a combined total of 30 bludgeoning damage. Oh. The first two were maxed with a 12, and then the last one, not so much. Ah. I'm glad I had Peaches put on mage armor. And then he is then... going to shut the door. Oh, for fucks! Okay, so anyways, with that, he is, go like I said, he is going to shut the door, and I'm going to just move this thing, on. Oh, I can't move it to that layer. Anyways, um, that's going to be his turn, and then it is the other guy's turn. He is going to try and punch oh. Jackie. Nine. Twenty-three. Nope. That a barrel hits. Okay. That is going to be 10 bludgeoning damage, reduced to 5. All right. And then he is going to try and grapple you. Okay. Um, Athletics? Sure. 23, you beat his 21. So he tries to grab you by the throat, but you manage... To just grab his arm beforehand and hold him back before he escapes your grip. That is going to be his turn. It is now our our barley our friendly barkeep assassin guy named Glenrom. He's going to look at this situation and is like, okay. So he's gonna hop over the bar and he draws a short sword with a very jagged edge. Almost looks like it is not good it would not be good for cutting as he kind of cups his hand around it and um almost like a draw almost like a draw um cuts himself and you can and jackie you see the blood start to move onto the blade and form a very long short sword as he is then going to make um he is then going to make two attacks against you okay Okay. So with that. Uh, unfortunately, both of them are going to miss for him. 16 and a 15. 
as even from that distance, you see the blood kind of lash out like a whip and just, and you manage to dodge out of the way before they can strike you. Yes, unfortunately. Anyways, <laughs> Matt is going to be his turn. And uh, so that is going to be, let's see. Okay. Next up, Erebus. You got punched. Okay, uh, I open the door okay. for my bonus action. Mm -hmm. Then, before that, without using... he is sent, the body is standing there, so I'm going to need you to give me either athletics or just strength, whichever or. I'm going to use uh, strength. Okay. This is going to be horrible. Okay. Roll strength. That door is staying shut. Son of a... <laughs> Alright. Time for desperate measures. How thick is the door? Um, I would say when you were there, you saw that the door was maybe a couple... Was... I would say... Let's see here, just so I got some proper thing. Um, about three inch thick, two and a half maybe. Okay, I'm going to stab him through the door. Okay, you're gonna have to well, survive. One way to do it. Well, you're, yeah, I'm gonna say that you do have a general location, so it's not completely that, but you are going to have, he's gonna have at least five thirds cover. So, a 14 is going to miss. Well, shit, yes. Alright, Zen, your turn. E. Zen? <laughs> Alright. I just want to do a quick search around here in case there's any, like, keys or whatnot. You're trying to look for keys? Yeah, just a quick search. Okay. Um, give me an investigation roll. This will be your action. Oh, I still have it on disadvantage. Doesn't matter, but... I mean, yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, it failed, but... I know. Uh, you don't find any keys for this door. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. And do I have any bonus um, anything actions? Anything else that you'd like can... to do there, I was checking which ones of these I can actually use, but. Yeah, that'll be my turn. Okay. Broker. Okay, so first of all, I would love to try and force the door open, but at the same time. Hmm. Let me check something real quick. Let me just... Hmm. I think I... I think the only option I really have is forcing the door open. Gonna try to open the door. Uh, I'm probably gonna fail miserably. Okay. 19? Okay, so you're trying with your shoulder this time. Uh, yep. You've tried very hard, and you managed to push open the door. Right, I'm gonna shoot that son of a bitch with my keen longbow. Oh, okay. also, also using a plus one arrow. Okay. So um, add which a son plus of a, one to this. Which son of a bitch are you attacking? Oh, uh, I'm gonna attack the edge. I'm gonna attack the edge lord. Okay, you're attacking the Rivers of Blood user. Oh, I thought you were talking yes. about Erebus. <laughs> okay, so shoot. Y'all oh free to shoot. Oh my god! Him. Natural 20. No, it's, a, no, it's 19. Oh, it's a 19. Oh, yeah, you have the crit thing. Okay. 
Oh yeah. Oh oh shit. Oh, uh, I should have hunters mark. Well, I uh, well I mean ignore the hunters mark damage. So and twelve. Other hunters mark. Twelve damage. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's gonna be seven. Seven. Jesus, that's nine. That is not as impressive as I was hoping. I should I should hunters mark him next turn. I mean, you can still do it now. There are the no, I thing. used my bonus action to force the door open. Oh, and, oh. Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. When you shoot him with the arrow, it doesn't actually stick in him. You definitely see him recoil from the impact, but you don't see it actually stick in him as it drops to the floor. <laughs> Hacks. Okay. Anything else there, Croker? Uh, that I can think of. Okay. Sure, I could move into the room, but then I'd just be in the range of a hell of a lot of angry gladiators. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll go. Uh, Croker, don't you have a second shot? Oh, shit, he's right! My fucking <laughs> full... My full... I have an extra attack. Let me just... Oh, god damn it. Okay, that is going to miss. Not the not the best of days. All right. Then I am gonna walk in. Gonna hunt us, mark the assassin. Then I'm gonna place myself here. And I'm try to swing at him. I got him. First swing. Oh. Second miss. swing. Nineteen. Nineteen hits. All right. First the hunter's mark, then the scimitar. Again. And I'm adding also my swamp death hit, and then bonus action. I can't because hunter's mark. All right. End yep. of turn. Okay. Again, same thing with the arrow. You see all your impacts connect. However, it doesn't leave any visible marks. What in the hell are you? What can I say? I got my I got my resources. I, th I swear to God, I, I swear to God, he, I thought he was about to say I'm just built different. Jeez. Okay. Peaches. He isn't high. But here's the thing, man. He isn't high in DMT. <clears throat> so, seeing as that's not seeming to do much, I'm going to try a Psychic Lance to the face. Uh, which guy? On the Gladiator guy that's right, right in front of me. Okay. This one. Okay. Okay, so DC 15, so... Intelligence save. He rolled a 19. Alrighty. So he's going to take half of that and not be stunned. Well, incapacitated, but same thing. Very much, yeah. And I think that'll be my turn. Okay. Top of the round, Jackie. Since I don't feel like risking another opportunity attack, I'm just gonna go ahead and try and actually. Never mind. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to take finish this guy off. Okay. So gonna get a attack of opportunity. Okay, you're gonna only get one attack of opportunity. Yep. Um, 20. Misses. Okay then. Okay. Yeah, it's normal. That's gonna hit, that's gonna hit. Okay, so that is going to be 14 and 13, so 27. Is it down? Nope. In that case... 
spending a key point for two unarmed attack. Well, let's say if this first one hits first. Okay. Yep. That's gonna hit. And then I spent the key point for the second one. Okay then. That is also gonna hit. So eight and eleven, so nineteen. Okay, anything else? No, that's my turn. Alrighty then. Okay, so the gladiator guy looks to you and he is badly injured. Um, bonus action, he is going to pop a potion. Son of a bitch! How dare the NPCs heal? That's our thing. No, it's not really, it's not really that. This would be way more socially acceptable if drinking a potion in melee provoked an opportunity attack. Okay. So, with that... Okay. Um, that is, that's bonus action. And so, with his attack action... He's going to make an attack for Kalga and for Jackie. So first for Kalga, 12. For Jackie, 15. Oh, boom. Nice okay. He's going to try and grab Kalga. Kalga, give me an athletics. He manages to, after seeing, after seeing both of his attacks miss, he is going to quickly grab you, Kalga. So then, other guy, he is going to take something out from his pocket, and he is going to throw it. Is it sand? No. Boy snake? Oh, no, it's not sand. Some kind of spherical ball that he's going to throw somewhere behind Erebus. Actually... Uh, mind. I was wondering if the missile work on this one. Oh. Not this. So I'm grappled? Yeah, you're grappled right now. Okay, AI? Freaking... You didn't just do what I think I'm fearing you did, did you? Uh, let's see here. We got Croker, Erebus, Jackie, and Peaches. I need you guys to give me a con save. Oh. Uh... Who all needs to give con save? Um, I do. Oh my god. Jackie, Erebus, um, Jackie, oh Erebus, Ka not know. Kalga, Peaches, and Kroger. Kalga, I, you're fine. I, you know what? The most surprising part is that I didn't fail this. Okay. Um, yeah, the only one who fails this is actually, um, Jackie. Oh my god. Mm. That's not a good thing. And thankfully, it's I'm low and really roll today, really low today. Um, so Jackie, you take nine poison damage as it explodes into a mist that, when you inhale it, you start feeling it affect your mind. Uh, not mind, but just kind of feel it in your body. So nine poison damage, and then everyone else, you are taking, you are taking, um, four poison damage. Can I stall some endurance that? Uh, yes, I believe Stone's Endurance we've said is for just ja damage in general. Actually, never mind. I feel like there's going to be something worse coming my way soon. But there's always something worse coming our way. Hey, guys. Uh, I'd, like to try to do, I'd like to try to spell on this guy, uh, Foyer and Shamir fighting. We're fighting different guys. It's that guy. Um, well, what are fighting? This one. This guy this is guy going to go is... up and then using the remaining two attacks, he is going to punch Kalga. Hmm. Um, natural 20 and a 21. Perfect. Okay. 
That is going to be 16 and an 11, so 27. Okay, and did I fail any of the concepts for the Hunter's Mark? Nope. Okay, so 27, uh, that means... Um, yes, for. I was just gonna ask, were those attack rolls with advantage or regular? They were with advantage since Kaoga is grappled. And yeah, also... grappling doesn't give advantage. That did. Oh, wait, no, it's restrained. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, it, it gives disadvantage on the target who's grappled, and let's see. I think those gladiators have the grapple feet, so this is why I'm restrained. Could be, maybe. If you want to go with that, I don't mind. Okay. Well, whatever the case, let's see here. Yeah, it's weird that sometimes when creatures or enemies have the grapple action and also have the extra rule that they are only allowed to restrain it but the normal grappling rules are that they are not restrained hmm. it's weird i like yeah. i like monsters that can restrain pcs no honestly i'm going to treat this as a restraining just yeah i'm fine with it don't worry i, I don't complain it. Um, hey, Alga, you might want to you might you might want to file a restraining order. Just don't okay. make it weird by saying harder. Okay, so now it is the assassin's turn, and you see him take out a vial and start pouring it onto his blade. Oh, great! It's poison. And he's oh, going great. to attack you, Alga. Mm hmm Terrific. Calga's about to go down. Calling it now. 19. Just it. Okay. Calga, I'm going to need you to give me two con saves. Okay. Um, let's see here. I'm guessing one of them was for the Hunter's Mark and the other one was for the Poison. Uh, I did. So, Calga. Okay. So with this, he's going to he's going to attack you. You take seven piercing damage from the slash as like I said, same thing as what happened with Jackie, the blood kind of whips around and slashes you um kind of in the chest. Um so that's seven there. He's gonna get sneak attack. Uh -huh. That's gonna be another 18 points from the sneak attack. Mm -hmm. And then from that wound, Kalga, you feel two different sensations. One being the burning sensation from what you can imagine to be poison. And then the other, you feel as though the blood is almost bursting uh, from your body as um, in just a moment as it's bubbling up, it then bursts from oh your God, chest. Doors of blood. I need to get that still. Um, you're going to take an additional 15 points of necrotic damage from the from basically a blood loss effect. And then finally going to take the you dexterity what? arcane build. There you go. Yep. So and then you're gonna take from the poison another 30. Okay. I know okay, so it's uh, poison damage 30. I have the ring of poison resistance, so it would be 15. But it doesn't matter, I'm down anyways. Yeah, so 15 from that, 18 from the blood loss. So that's 33 plus 7, that's 40 plus the... Uh, no, 18 was the... Uh, or what was it about casting dispel magic on the assassin? So, yeah. It's 45 damage in total there, Kaoga. I am down. And then for his other attack, he's going to throw another device into the group here. Oh. Tom. This time, different. Hey, uh, you had fun with this, didn't you? Yes. Um, <laughs> it's like and... a giant APK chaos now. Okay, so. Again, I'm going to need the usual suspects here. 
um, Jackie, Croker, Erebus, and Peaches, I need you guys to give me a um, another constitution save. Croker's fine. Peaches is not fine. Jackie is not fine. Neither is, is Erebus. This is not fun. I'm not having fun, no. Okay. You guys can make the... You can make the save at the end of your terms, but for the time being, you guys are under the effects of the con confusion, uh, under an effect similar to the confusion spell. Uh, okay, that's bad. That's bad. Wait, did I did I succeed or did I fail? You succeeded. Okay. I can't tell oh, if that's did. good or bad. Okay. So, anyways, that's the, that's the effect for under basically. Yep. And oh, to just kind God. of explain what I'm talking about with this, he's basically throwing an item that does that has this effect. It's he's not actually casting a spell. He's throwing okay. a Deku nut from Zelda. Okay, and that's going to be that. Um, Erebus. You are under the effects of confusion. Um, gonna give you a D10. So that is actually I should just I should roll this out right. Yeah, so this motherfucker to the moon. Okay, so a ten. Um yeah, reroll helped you there. So you can act as you can act normally, Erebus. Okay, I'm gonna go here and use a third level spell on this guy. Okay then. If he had any magic bullshit on him, he no longer has it. Vampire Touch. Which guy are you doing this on? That guy. Okay, so 18 hits, so 13 necrotic damage. Okay, and then Vampire Touch. Okay, let's see here. Okay, you're gaining 13 hit points there, Erebus. Yeah. Uh, also, Erebus, I don't know if you have read this, but next time you can just yeah. cast Vampire Touch again, it's like... You have... Yeah, I know. It, it's a concentration spell. Also, I get half uh, as health. Oh, you get half as health, so... Yeah. I it's forgot that it can seven. do that, that it keeps like a shillelagh, but yeah. Anyways, what? you get six. Anything else there, Erebus? Uh, no. Okay. Zin. Oh, You've right. seen two different poison. Some, two different clouds appear in the hallway in front of you and affect your party members, and you see the, you still see this gladiator-like fellow there. Are the clouds lingering, or they disperse immediately? They disperse not too long after, um, after these guys get affected, so you can move through, move through it. I'm. How does this guy look? If I can see him well. He's been beat to hell and back. Does he look like he's on his last legs and bloodied? Depends on depends on interpretation as well as how well you do. Hmm. Oh um, yeah, Erebus, give me the, give me a con save. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> I'm gonna do the stupid. Oh, oh yeah, I sure love sitting around doing nothing while waiting for my turn. Okay. So yeah. I'm gonna try Erebus and help out a bit. A Erebus, give me a con save. Um, Zoom, your turn, and then Parker, you're on deck. So what are you doing, Zoom? I can't do a spell, and... So... Yeah, I'm gonna hit this guy with an up-leveled... Um, in a while since... Ah, Scorching Ray at level three. Okay. Okay, so 16, that is going to hit. Um, 
When I up level it, is that four or five for level four. three? Four. Four. Okay, so 16, that is going to hit. Also roll me a roll me a D20. Ah, damn, I forgot about Tides of Chaos. That's on me. Okay, so nothing happens there, so first let's oh get the damage. My God. The last thing we need is some ma wild magic mumbo jumbo fucking <laughs> up the order. I have no idea what you're talking about. I never do that. Okay. Oh yeah, Erebus, you are no longer the effects under of the confusion. Poison. Right. Okay. So roll the damage there, Zin. I'm assuming that um three of them hit. Um, well, yep. Yeah, three of them are gonna hit, so let's roll damage. So five, five, two of them. Um guess you're going I'm guessing you're gonna go for the kill. Yeah, might as well. Okay then. Not bad, considering I forgot my own combos. And then the last one, you can't see any of the others, can you? Uh, nope. Okay. No, you cannot. I, on the other hand, can still see them all. I am going to move mm -hmm. forward just a little bit right behind Peaches, and then duck okay. inside here. Okay. A little further inside. Okay. You've... You guys never really explored this, but this is basically a storehouse, though it's not really, it's fairly lacking. Anyways. Yeah, what, a, what a horrible storage. Okay. Nah, this is just for bar. No, just, anyways, Croker. Stepping forward. We got Hunter's Mark, that son of a bitch. Okay, you're Hunter's Mark now. You. Last mistake today, buddy. And plus one arrows using the keen bow. All right. Crit. crit. Yes. Crit. Ah. Oh. Non crit. I'm assuming a 22 still hits though. Um. Yes. You know it. Also. Ah. Oh. Hunter's mark damage is kind of sad. Okay. Let's see. So he's gonna take. Hold on. He's gonna take. Good luck, Good luck. Good luck. So 27 damage. Yeah. Okay. Please tell me he actually looks damaged. I think it's 28, not 27. Yeah. 28? Okay. Oh, okay. Please tell me he actually looks damaged because I'm like, uh, if he doesn't, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna curl up in a ball and start crying. Sorry, Kroger. He's got something on him. Can someone dispel magic him? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's using hacks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can. Uh, yeah. Sorry. 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 I'm also using plus one arrows, so that would actually be thirty. Thirty. That didn't make me feel any better. Warrior, if you can grapple him, I got an idea. I'm not gonna start grappling him right now. I'm currently in the process of trying to shoot the son of a bitch. Okay, Kalga. Um, give me a death save. Oh no. The 19. Mm. Um, you succeed. Mm. Alright, hey, be hey, right back. Hey, hey, AI. Yes. You should start you should start asking people to whisper you their death saves that way there's a, there's that way there's that way it creates an air of tension you don't know if someone's going to live or die Eh, I like it when everyone else is in on it try um getting excited or whatnot and anyway, speeches I'm not feeling any stakes here um d10 you're able to roll as normal Oh yeah croaker give me a con save uh, against... oh, yeah, I forgot, to, forgot to include you on that, so let's a see here. Against what? Oh, wait, no, yeah, you succeeded. Never mind, I'm being stupid. Jesus. Okay, so yeah, Peaches is able to roll with normal. Okay, so you're attacking that guy. Oh, I'm well. I'm muted. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, which one's the most dead right now? Um, this guy looks pretty good. This guy looks like... He looks fairly good, though he has an obvious injury on his hand from... Well, you guys didn't see it, but Jackie would have seen it from when he was drawing his blade. Okay. I'm going to go for this guy for now. Um, just regular... Uh, Astral Blast thing that I normally do. Okay. Hit 9 is going to miss, 26 is going to hit. Alrighty. Undamaged, and then I roll the Wisdom save. Uh, con save. Oh, is it con? Yes. Alrighty. 21. You are no longer the effects of confusion. Alrighty. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Um, anything else there, Peaches? I'm back. Nope, that's it. I got them. Um, Jackie. Um, give me a D10. Be very afraid, everyone. As a seven, what does that get you out with a... Seven, I'm very afraid. Creature in his action to make a melee attack against a randomly determined creature within reach. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. There, no, Jackie, don't do it. There are four there are four targets within reach. And one of Jackie, them might uh, kill Caliga. We're gonna do clockwise. Starting with Peaches, ending with Caliga. Give me a D4. That's uh, Caliga. Oh no. And he has no, advantage no, no, on this no, because no, Caliga's no, prone. No, no, no. Does it matter how I attack him? It's times like these, I wish I knew healing word. Up to it failure. Doesn't, it doesn't really matter since you're not gonna do the damage to um pass his pass his health maximum um with just a single attack and it's only just one. <laughs> oh, I missed. Oh, oh yeah, you, you can do that? Yeah. Yeah. He had advantage on the attack and he missed. Caligo, oh what's God. your AC? Nineteen. Oh, oh well. 18 because I'm laying now and cannot do wheels, but still. Damn. Yeah. It's got a okay. Good Here's the fun part. It says I have to use my action. Uh, let's see here. It's to you have to use your action to make a creature use an action to make a melee attack. It doesn't say. Um, it just says you yeah. to make a melee attack. Exactly, so I still have my movement and my bonus action. Yep. Yeah, shit. Kelly guy's still right there. I'll get him. Yeah, but I can blow up the place with him there. Hold on, that's 15. Yeah, fuck it, I'm going here. Also, Fucking keep in mind who's going guy. after you. With advantage. Okay. Okay, so that is going to be 21 out of 14. 21 is going to hit. So, 8 damage for that. Hmm. Um, Jackie, give me a perception roll. You don't, you don't quite know where it is, but every when you hit the guy, you you feel the contact, but you don't feel like it's actually doing anything. However, at the same time, you you almost feel like you you almost seem like you hear something cracking. So it's a shadow clone. Uh, thank you for the information, but I was attacking this guy. Oh, I thought you were attacking the assassin guy. No, I wouldn't have flanking on him. Oh, okay. Eh, never mind them. Ignore the DM's ramblings. I don't, oh. but I'm unconscious. Also, what the fuck? I was supposed to do something. See, in that case, if you're attacking this guy, then that 14 also hits, so roll the damage for that. Oh. 
So 13, so that is going to be 21. I'll get them. Yep. Trying to remember if there's something else, but... Uh... Oh, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Okay. So with that, this guy is this guy is going to look over to here, and he is going to notice the cat. Oh no! He is going to punch the cat. Not the kitty. No. Do I get an and opportunity? Yeah. Yes, he is. All right, so what's the roll? Um, 16 is going to hit, so he is going to take 13 damage. So um, what is your AC there, um, Beaches? Currently, my AC is a 17. Okay, so two of them are going to hit. Bam, he yeeted me away. Well, time to add fall damage. Just kidding. Yeet. Okay, so that you're going to take a combined total of 13 bludgeoning damage as he punches you. Ouch. Okay. Just give me that. And then you hear the assassin guy, and he's going to turn. Now, kind of noticing the situation and seeing you, Erebus, he's like, Erebus, is that you? Oh, fuck. Do I know you? No, but you've definitely given us trouble. Uh, yeah, I seriously don't know who you work for. Hey! Doesn't change the on fact Lagos, Pat. Doesn't change the fact that you've caught you've turned every you turned things upside down a couple of months ago, you bastard. Mm, he's, going to make two, he's gonna make two attacks against you two. So one attack for each. Um, 10 for Peaches, 22 for Erebus. Okay. Alright, so okay. 10 misses. Done. Okay, then. So with that, um, you know the drill, Erebus. I'm going to need you to give me two con saves. Oh, it's this chuckle fuck us. Okay. The one underneath Shami. No, it's not that guy. It's the assassin guy. Oh. He has reach. He has reach! Oh my yeah. god, it is, a fu it is a fucking river of blood. He said that. Really wish I can get that game on okay, new game. So, uh, where, okay, so where the hell is the sword of, sword of night and flame in this room? Eh, maybe later. Anyways, so 17. <laughs> Don't give him ideas. That's one. That's one save. Um, give me another con save. Okay. Seriously, I don't know who you. I don't know who you work for. I, I need a bit of a deal you for work? our contest. Oh, kind of fuck. oh fuck. Okay, so both of those are saved. So you're going to take half of this. Okay, so. From regular damage and the and the sneak attack, you're going to take 21 points of damage. And then from the poison and the blood loss, you're going to take um, another 21 points of damage. You are unconscious. Wait. The... Blood damage was necrotic, isn't uh, Erebus? He is half of that, so that's going to be... I mean, it's still going to drop him below that, but he'll... Instead of 21, it will be... Um, it'll be 17. Yeah, I'm still down, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Okay, seriously. What the fuck are we supposed to do against this guy? I don't know, maybe somebody should blast him into oblivion with a certain something. Okay. I'm sorry, but we have a dead guy in the middle of the room. What? No, okay. he's not in range of that. He's not in range of, that, he's he's not range of that, the vacuum wave. I'm just. There. Okay, so, anyways, with that, um, Erebus, give me a death save. The 
this is this is awful. Damn it, Kirk. Yeah. This is this is truly horrible. Hey, you should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, that is going to be a one fail. Okay, I was going to that. Shame. Shame. Then. Shame. He's an account of the assassin, so devious. Zin, please help. Okay, I should probably do something this time around. Please figure out how to get past his weird damage barrier. Yep. Hey, Jackie, can you do me a favor? What? Grapple this guy when you get to your turn. I'm going to move here. Or okay. Before you ask me to do that, tell me what you have in mind. I'm actually about to do it right now. And I'm going to, uh, actually from right here, because I, it gives me disadvantage if I do it so close, I'm going to use Polymorph on this guy. Okay, you're going to use Polymorph. Yep. What the fuck? Well, it's not the worst idea he's ever had. What are you Polymorphing him into? A spider. Okay. What is the um, DC? I do not remember. That's why I Wait, pulled it up. You know, you know what the funny thing about I've only ever done this on willing targets. It says 15 at the bottom there. Let's go with that. Uh, okay. He rolled an 18. Damn. That's disappointing. By the way, how do you calculate your spell save 20. DC? But also, hey guys, if you turn, if you polymorph someone into a T-Rex, there's no guarantee that they'll know what a fr what's friend and what's food. No, there's no oh. guarantee peaches would, because peaches would eat us regardless. That is true. Okay, so anyways. I mean, like, uh, you don't retain your mental attributes if you get turned into a, into a creature with polymorph. I uh, need you to give me a d20. I mean, it, it'd be a beast versus a beast, because I technically am a beast, so... So, nothing happens there? Well, that was disappointing. My god, that's anticlimactic as all hell. Yeah. Okay. Never mind, Perfect. Jackie, kill him. Okay, how the hell are we supposed to deal with this guy? Punch him harder. You I'm also going to use the rest harder. of my move. We've been trying that! Croker! Alive. Croker! Save Calico. Oh, else the out. fucking gladiator! I'm also no, going to no, sheath no. my sword and take, or sheath my staff what and put on my sword. What is the only way I'm going to be able to save Calga? I'm not trying to get close to those mountains of muscle. Okay. Jackie or the gladiator? And I'm going to use yes. my bonus action to put a potion into Calga's mouth if I have one. Yeah, I have a I healing potion. You... Yeah, I'd be surprised if you didn't. You guys raided an entire shop once. Yeah, then I gave oh, them to everyone oh. else. Okay, so roll that. You is it regular healing or regular greater? healing? Um. Okay, two e four plus two. Cool. Okay, at least, at least, at least Zin's got Calga covered. I'm going to. Calga, you got six. So, my God, somebody move his corpse, would ya? He's not dead. Make him move after your turn. Okay, fine. Anyway, I'm gonna shoot the gladiator now. Okay, you're shooting the gladiator. Also, again, plus one to hit and damage because I am using plus one arrow still. Also, oh fuck, I forgot to keep track of the plus one arrows. You fired oh, wait, three I, of them. Oh wait, fuck, I only have. Oh, well, I, I, I don't have any more of those left. Yeah, good. I'm out of uh, guys. I'm out of plus one arrows. Well, using normal arrows. Okay. Oh yeah. Also, I'm gonna have bonus action move the hunter's mark to the gladiator. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And bam. God damn it. Bop. That's gonna hit. Bop. That's gonna hit. 11 damage. 11 damage. Bastard. Okay, anything else? Um. Can I just like 
drag Kalga away from the glab. Uh, no, wait, no, I don't want to move into melee. I don't want to move yeah, into melee. You're going to have to move into melee if you're going to drag him. Yeah, he's also con. He's also already conscious anyway, so doesn't matter. You could, you could try to move Erebus, though. Okay, come on, Erebus, buddy. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah no, no, come on, Erebus, buddy. Let's let's get you into the hallway away from the spooky, scary gladiators. Okay. Are you sure you want to do that? What's he going to do? I, I, opportunity attack an unconscious body? Yes. Maybe. That. Is that allowed? Forgive, ahem, forgive me, Erebus. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, Erebus, uh, sorry about this. I'm gonna <laughs> Actually, have... did Kroger just friendly up. fire him? Um, er, hold up. Um, horror. Forced movement doesn't trigger opportunity attacks. Okay, I'll buy it. Oh, okay. Okay. Drag it on. You know what? You're, you're, you're welcome, Erebus. I mean, to make it motto, it, if, I, if my character dies now, I can just make a new one with the update of Asmar. Okay. From Fortnite. Potato, tomato. Anything else there, Kroker? Uh, nope. That's all. Okay, Calga. You are now sure. on this. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up. Then I'm moving here, still in melee range of him. I'm you using a bonus action to uh, give Erebus a greater healing potion to wake uh, him up. Cal. Okay. This guy has a tenfold reach. Oh, really? Nice. He hasn't has left the reach yet. And the thing is, I can force movement myself, so... Okay, uh, that was 44 plus... plus four. Erebus has 14, okay. Then I am going to attack the gladiator real quick with one swing. Now she's going. The M. Oh! Hey. Uh, <laughs> yes. Is that it? Dead. Give us the good news. He's still alive. God damn it. Uh, and then I, with that hit, I am going to use my ability of, um, where is it? For my gathering swarm that I can move myself five feet. And because it's a force movement, no opportunity attacks. So I can share the space with Erebus a bit. And I'm okay. away from this guy. Alrighty. And I don't know if that's allowed. Uh, no, I think I can't for extra attack. It needs to be the same weapon. Uh, right. Extra attack can be any can be any weapon that you have. Now, okay. Right, there are some. I would say that there are some things where it's like, if you, if you pull, if you try to switch between certain weapons, I'm going to be a bit stingy on that but in this so, case I... so for example if i do scimitar and bow it wouldn't but if i just do my dagger which i have on my other hand and throw it it would be allowed right yes then i throw my dagger at that guy okay throw the dagger 18. <laughs> hey jackie did you ever do the um concept yes i did and i failed okay then what was it? What was the roll? It was a pet. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so with that, um, let's see here. So an 18, that's going to hit. All right. And that's my turn. All righty. Peaches. All righty. So let me just look here. I'm trying to find something I can help Jackie here in my spell list. Do you have dispel magic? Um, I have detect magic, and I have. Well, let's see. Well, see if the guy glows magical. Alrighty. That's kind of obvious. Let's see what I do have. If you don't have dispel magic, then we're not going to be able to dispel whatever magic he's got on him. Jackie, would gu would guidance be helpful? No. No. Okay. 
It only helps. Then, it only helps with other audio skill checks. Okay. Then I think I will try out my spiritual weapon for once. Okay. Don't really know how this works yet, but we'll figure it out. Knock him upside the head. Who are you going to knock upside the head? Um, We'll start with the guy right in front of me first. Okay, that's going to be a bonus action, so where are you putting this thing? Um, Let's put it right here. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't have a token for you, so but I can make one later on. What level would this be? With what level would this be using to cast? By the way, um, you only got you only got one that does a first level, just first level, because the yeah. I can only cast it a second is the lowest it'll go. Oh, I mean not second. Um, for sec second, it's the first level that you can actually do it. So okay, second so level. So spiritual. Okay. So. And how does the weapon look like for your kit? Um, I haven't thought about this that much, but since I am a cat. I want to say they're just like they don't. They look like claws, I guess. But like it's a giant on. cat paw. Yes. It's, it's, it's a giant spectral cat paw. Yes. I mean, if you would go the funny route, it could be also a giant garn. I think it's called yarn or a yarn. What? You know the the little balls they sometimes play with. Oh, a ball of yarn. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll get the calls for now. So I got them. Oh, the um, damn! That's it. That's your bonus action. Um, do you wish to use your action for anything? Um, my action. If I move, I get attack. Attack of opportunity, right? If you move more than ten feet from your position, if you move out of his attack range. Okay. Um. Then, if that's the case, I think I will ask to blast him as well. Who are you astral blasting? The guy right in front of me again. Oh, you're gonna attack the glider? Oh wait, um yeah. Is that allowed? Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, so sixteen and twenty six, so both of them hit. Supper. Okay. I got them. And Anything I think else? I'll just I'll just move to like right here in case okay. someone wants to grab me and pull me away. Alright. Anyways, Jackie, is it demolition time? I don't know, let me check. Apparently not. Uh let's see, what's a five? I keep having to go back to this thing. So a five is, yep. Yeah, two through six. The creature doesn't move or take any actions. Oh no! Okay. Oh no! All right, he can repeat the concept, right? Okay, yeah, there he's no longer under your effects. Oh my god! At least there's that. Okay. Yeah, feels feels weird not having the heavy hitter. Zin. Wouldn't this guy be the perfect target for Hexblade Curse? You know, I think you might make a very valid point about that. Okay. So, anyways, um, this guy right here, start with him. Um, he is going to he's going to use his bonus action and chug a healing potion. And then he's going to punch Peaches twice and try to punch Zim. No. Uh, just remember for I me, I have a cloak of displacement. A dick. Okay. So a for Peaches twenty fourteen and then Zim ten. Uh, ten's so going to miss. Okay, Peaches, you're going to take eleven points of bludgeoning damage. Alrighty. Uh, let's see here. That is going to be. He is actually going to move, and uh, he is going to move. Then move right that. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna move right here. 
Um, Zen and Peaches, you're, you can make an attack of opportunity. You can go first, Peaches. All right. All righty. Now, this is going to be... Yeah, this is, so it's going to have Does to be a matter? melee attack. Melee would spiritual weapon count as that? No. No? Okay. It's melee options. I suppose the only thing I really can do is uh, bite and scratch. Mm-hmm. So. That is going to hit. Okay. Um, Zin? I'm going to stab him with my sword. I'm also going to specifically okay. aim for his ankle. Okay. That's going to hit. Make sure I don't have any wrong modifiers on. Uh, don't. There we go. Okay, so three necrotic damage and eight piercing, so 11 damage there. Does overhealing um, give you 10 hit points? No. <laughs> yep. 11 okay. to his shin. Yep. Now then, he is going to take an attack against you, Jackie. Yeah. Yeah, advantage. Mm-hmm. Now, right, Jackie, do you still have Rage on? Yep. How good one? That is a 19. That's going to miss. Yep. 26. That's going to hit. Okay. So that... So that's 18 halved. So that is going to be... That's going to be 9 physical damage. All right. And then for the poisoning and blood loss, um, need you give me two con saves. 16, 22, both of them are successes. Okay, so that is going to be, let's see here, 15, 25. So you're going to take a total of 20 damage from both the necrotic and the and the poison, so that is going to minus that, so that's going to be 14. 14. So in total, you took 23 points of damage. As both of his attacks, he is going to use a bonus action and heal. Fourteen. Okay, then. Up, Erebus. Okay, it's just him. There's also the glider here. Well, I'm gonna have to step in. Okay, so you're stepping yes. in. Now, please. Kind sir. <laughs> what is your name? Name's Glenro. Neat. Did he catch okay, the dead? So 20 that is going to hit. So 17 damage. Okay, uh, both of you, give me a. No, Jackie, you would have already heard this. Um, Airbus, if you want to hit, if you want to, um, if you want to give me a perception roll. Sure. Okay. Okay. Not quite, but you you hit him with you hit him with the sword. Okay. Anything else there, Abus? Uh, no. Wish to move at all? Uh, no. Okay then. That's it. 
I'm going to do something that no one's ever going to believe. I'm going to listen to Jackie and use Hexblade's Curse on Limrot. Okay. And then I'm going to thank him. I'll kill him. Two things. Yep, I am going to then green flame blade him. Okay, you have advantage with this, so roll that again. Forgot about that. That hits. I'll just turn on advantage after that. And let's see. I think I did some damage. 27? Uh, let's see here. So 12 piercing and... So that's 15. It's 27. Okay, so going through that... Also, give him a disadvantage at, like, I don't know, dexterity checks. Oh, good. No, yeah. but, damn. I mean, he, can no, he can't really use stealth or sleight of hand or anything. Or acrobatics. Aha! Ultimate hand. Get it. Okay. Um, Zen, as you strike him with the flames, you hear a very audible cracking as if glass is shattering, and you see, um, you see little bits of glass kind of fall from um from underneath it from underneath his shirt and then the second and then you see the flames um hit him and he looks visibly damaged i'm just going to taunt him and ask if he feels like surrendering do i need to roll intimidation for that and then was that do i need to roll intimidation for that or just say it um, do you wish to intimidate him? Yeah, sure. Why not? I've never done that before. I've got them. Roll intimidation. Uh, disadvantage or advantage? Um, just where you are. He got he got a twenty on his, but you managed you managed to ace it, and he's like, "Gonna be honest, not the first time I've been in this situation, but." Damn if this one isn't precarious. Stand down, tell us what we want to know. Okay, moving right along. Anything else that you'd like to do there, Zen? I'll pass turn and leave it up to everyone else to figure out what's going on next. Okay, Croker. Vic, you there? Uh, okay. Vic. My god, they killed Vic! Okay. Until Vic gets back. Um, Kalga. Okay. Um, the situation was that he was not surrendering, or am I reading this wrong? You're reading that wrong. Okay. I'm guessing the bodyguard is still attacking, right? Yeah, he is still combat capable. Okay, who of those two looks worse? Okay. Um, who looks worse? Definitely the gladiator guy. What? Then bonus action, hunters mark the gladiator. Okay. I don't. I was unconscious. All right. And then I'm just shooting two longbow attacks at him. Oh no! Oh! And I'm adding my swarm to that. Okay, so that is a natural twenty, and so that's fourteen. So oh, forty. And the swarm because it's crit. So, for the first attack alone, it's 20, 22, 21, 
26. 26. How do you want to do this? I'm looking at him. Taking my arrows, surrounding with my box, and shoot right into his chest. But then the, all my bees are spreading out and burst out of his chest. Okay, note to self, do not pit Alga. Uh, Vic, you back. And with my second shot, I'm shooting against the assassin. I assume it hits. Okay, so 20, that is going to hit. Um. Okay, so 10 piercing. Hey, we got Navi um, in the chat. Do... What? Someone's doing Navi in that spamming. It just hey, it sounds like something Navi would say. Hey, Link, listen. What up? <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm gone. Okay, so... Okay, so Vic is not answering, so we'll get back to him when it when he pops in. Um, Peaches. All right, so is the one guy surrendering or not surrendering, or what was the deal with him? <laughs> um, don't think we know yet. Uh, can you guys hear me? We can hear uh, you say that. Now we can. Okay. No, he's not surrendered. All right, then I'm just going to make an air spiritual weapon attack. Okay. So, where's that at in the list? Here it is. Would I have advantage on this or? Uh, no. No. No, okay. that's going to be strictly for melee. Okay. 18 still going to hit, though. Alrighty. Okay, so let's see. So that, that's... Okay. So that's the bonus action, and then I suppose Astro Blast him after that. Mm -hmm. Pew pew! Okay. 14's gonna miss, 18's gonna hit. Oh, I know that 18's from that, so 20's gonna hit, so 5. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, that'll be my turn. Jackie. I have half a mind to teach these wizards why you shouldn't, well, sorcerers, why you shouldn't get within 5 feet of the enemy. DC is 14. You are lucky. Okay. Did I hear Vic? Yeah, it's all right. Okay. Um, before that, Jackie, Vic, you got a turn. Yeah, oh. sorry. About, uh, okay, hold on. Uh, the hunter mark is still on the guy, right? Guys you did. moved it to the gladiator. All oh, right. Well, moving it back to him. Okay. Sorry, Jackie. Yeah, sorry. I just got a splitting headache. Needs to lie down for a bit. Anyway, let's do this. Come on. That's gonna hit. That's gonna miss. Damn it. Nine damage. Nine damage. Okay. Um, don't know if you if you were here for that, but he is taking actual damage now. Oh my god! So what did you guys do? Hit him harder. We we hit him till he died. Of death. That's pretty much it, but yeah. Okay, so going back to Jackie and his pummeling. Yeah. So so I'm gonna be using this 
sparingly instead of every one of them, so... Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so that is 13, 11, and 13, so 26, so 37. How badly Jack. is it looking at the moment? Well, to answer that question, how do you want to do this? Don't kill him yet. Let's torture him a little bit. But you're gonna sing yes, like, need, uh... yes, I suggest I suggest and I suggest we take his shit. Yeah, we're still okay, sorry. I have an idea. First turn of attack, grabbing it by the left leg, second attack grabbing by the right right leg, and then slamming his crutch against my knee and dislocating his legs. Oh Jesus. Is he even conscious? Oh, not willingly. Uh, he is Maybe. very much unconscious. <laughs> well, uh, okay. it's okay, guys. I Let's know how to wake people like him up. We're just going to jump on his groin like it's a bouncy castle until he sounds like a woman. I don't think okay. he has Broker, a groin anymore. Broker, guys, before we, before we wake his ass up again, let's see what he has. So because he has to have some good shit. We're not taking the rivers of blood. We're just trying that thing. I'm taking it. Uh, uh, I'm taking it. I have the, I have some moral concerns about keeping a rivers of blood on us. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm do, I'm going to give it to my boss, quote unquote. You're gonna give it to yourself. No, I literally serve some guy. I literally work for I literally work for some guy. Sure you do. Okay, so yeah, no, that's gonna be the end of combat. <laughs> How else do you think I have magic? I mean, I just okay, sneezed so... and got stuff, so. And I just naturally have it, so. Jackie yeah, punches things till it's magical. Anyway, so what does he ha what does he have on him? Um. So, got looking through his stuff, surprisingly light. Um, he has his he has his what he has his short sword on him. He also has another short sword. He has. Let's see here. Uh, two things. I'm just retrieving my arrows, plus I'm giving everybody the healing spirit. Okay. So everybody is gonna heal. Wait. Okay. Um, going through what Damn, my wife had took damage during that fight. Um, he has two vials of that poison that he had on him. Ooh, nice and then, stuff. And then, with that, you find three... Potions of greater healing. And then lastly, you find the broken remains of some kind of effigy that was on him. Well, whatever the effigy okay. was, it's not there anymore. Everyone got some glue? <laughs> We're not fixing it. It's like, a pu it's like a puzzle. We can also just, you know, do that. Do a form of, pu do a form of art where you just re reassemble something with gold gold dust you know okay. um do you guys search the do you guys search the gladiators at all or uh i do okay. i don't really care what they have on them anyway uh, it's pretty them. obvious that we can't really kill the assassin uh okay. can i we're Take not the... uh, arab let me explain my reasoning why we can't kill the assassin okay we need to or, send a message um, to the Vic, hold on a second. Um, Chami, what were you doing? Investigating the, the the gladiators, what they have. Don't really have to do too much. Um, they both have on them. They both have them on them. Side leather armor, and they each carry. Um, yeah, they should only. They both car are carrying. Um, two potions of greater healing. So total two or in total four? Individual. Had two, so four total. All right, adding those to my things. Uh, can you can you give me a couple of those just as a contingency? Uh, I'm giving you two. Thank you very much. Can I get the vial of poison? Oh yeah, hey, hey, hey can I retrieve my plus one arrows? They are, but they're no longer plus one. Well, shit. There are still arrows, though. 
Well, great. So that means I have a, uh, well, I have. Yeah, Captain. Um, so I was going back to that. Croker, what were you, you were explaining to Erebus? Oh yeah, we're, so Erebus, I know you want to kill this guy, but we're oh, not no, I don't. coming. Oh really? You don't want to kill this guy? I mean, I mean, I want to. I mean, I want to beat the shit out of him more, but no. All right, so we're all right, so we're not killing him. We're just gonna beat the shit out of him. We're gonna tell him to, to tell the Zanafar that, that that the bounty on my head is off. Yeah, and if, sure. And if, the catcher, and if the catcher wants me, he's gonna ha he's gonna have to come after me himself. Yeah, sure, but. Uh, how about we do, how about, uh, neither of us go to, how about we, uh, do a bit, do, how about we send them a message very creatively? With chickens and duct tape sprinkled in butter? If you're about stomping on his balls until he sounds like a girl, I was thinking of the same thing. Well, I want to remind you both of you that we have a strict no prisoner rule. Oh, right, uh, well, yeah, we're not going to kill gonna... him either. We're, yes, we're going to release him, but what was he's broken? Jackie, no prisoners. Just, I'm looking at you straight deadpan because even Zen is just remembering every prisoner we took before. We're going to interrogate him, then finish him. No, we're not killing him. Well, there's Myura. Has Shatterkai. Jackie, Jackie, we're not uh, Jackie. Let me explain. This bunch of we're zombies. We're going to kill him because Works. we need him to tell the Zenithar to take off, uh, to take the bounty yeah, off my this. fucking head. And Zenithar is. Yeah, here's the thing, Jackie. Zenithar is a beholder, and they're kind of a bit insane. So I'd rather this guy be alive than be dead because if he's dead, we're gonna be we're gonna be hunted by that. That floating chuckle fuck. I just pet gold fist. And I don't like being dealing with a beholder. Those fuckers are no because those fuckers can warp reality. Yeah, please. Especially after Let's keep them alive. Let's keep them <laughs> so, alive. Uh question of who What's keeping him alive? Why would that prevent him from hunting us down? You don't see the point, do you? No, I do not. Okay. Okay, how about this? Me and Croker are gonna deal with this guy. You guys go back to the hotel and don't cause me more trouble. Have you He's met us? Person. Question, who took the sh two short swords from the assassin? You take them. No, yeah, no, no I mean like, uh, who uh, took it no from... One. <laughs> no one? Yep, yeah, they're you can free. have them. No one cares. Yeah, Is it okay um, if I make two checks? Uh, what checks are you making? I want to just search right here and then search around for a fake wall around this area. Okay. Um, give me a yep. Give me an investigation roll for both of them. Regular, uncommon, or disadvantage. I will look later Regular. what those two short sets can do because I know what one does, but not the other. Anyway, Jackie, I don't know much about the Santa Claus guide. In fact, not at all, but I'm thinking what Erebus is saying. If we are killing him, then someone at the Santa Claus guide is going to seek revenge and probably is gonna try and hunt us down with more people. While when we keep him alive, we can try and persuade him that he leaves us alone. Worst case scenario, he would be the only one who is going to be after us. <clears throat> Telling uh, as a water Davian, I would like to explain this in the simplest terms possible. Let me tell you how this is going to happen. He's going to wake up, we're going to tell him to return to the Xanathar's guild, inform the Xanathar that it's going to be a very bad idea to come after us again, then we're, then we're going to ask him to relay a message to the Soul Catcher, to come and uh, to come find us him fucking self if he wants a fight. Yeah, so there is one yeah. flaw in your plan. Yeah, we're not involving you, which is a good thing. No, I meant the fact that he can't walk. 
We haven't broke his kneecaps yet. I just look at his legs. I can just, I, oh, don't worry, I can pop him back in. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Well, let's hope so. Well, let's hope. Modern and convenient. So, you guys go back to the hotel, me and Croker. We'll deal, we'll deal with this mess. Okay. I'm um, going to what Zin was doing. Um, Zin, the first roll, you managed to find what looks to be like a hidden um, mini chest underneath the um, counter there. Oh, very nice. Basically, to, to describe what this room is, think of it like a private um, backroom um, bar, almost. Um, anyways, so like I said, you find a little mini chest, and opening it up, you find um, 500 platinum. Damn. Hey guys, free money. How do you divide 500 by us? Uh, give it the jack. The I didn't hear what you said. Give it the jack. jack. Right. Yes, give it the jack and don't hold and don't take any of it for yourself. We can't trust you with the money. Just saying. Come on, I'm not that bad with money just because I seem to always have less than I thought. Uh. Yeah, that's not why. I just don't want you getting robbed. Jackie won't get robbed because dude's built like a brick house. But wouldn't you want to rob a house? That's not the point. Um, I am quickly doing a quick berry, giving everybody one. And then I have one left, which I'm giving the assassin, so he's waking up with one hit point. Okay. Well, his uh, his legs are still dislocated. I was hoping that he would stay unconscious until I relocate them. Oh, uh, I can ha I can give you a hand with the with the left one. Well, we can do that after. I mean, eh. We need to make sure he's here. not, you know, trying to do right. anything. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. He doesn't need hands, right? Good morning, sunshine. We're gonna cut off your hands, by the way. Oh, shit. Wow, what a way to start a conversation. First of all, hi, remember me? Oh, vaguely. I vaguely remember... Yeah, things are easy. At least me and you twice. You tried to kill. I'm an assassin. That, w that was a terrible idea. Now, here's what's going to happen. We're going to let you go. I'm going to put your, I'm going to pop your legs back into their sockets. And you're going to do me a little bit of a favor. You're going to tell the Xanathar to call off the hit on me. Um, give me a persuasion roll with advantage there, Croker. Can we help him somehow? I'm already sport. getting advantage. See? Oh damn! Now for twenty. Go, baby. All right, you made your point. I'll agree oh. to your terms. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And if you see the I... cat, if you see the soul catcher, tell him to find us himself. Oh, and uh, by the way, which is your dominant hand? I'm sorry. Before he What's does anything, I'm going to grab Erebus and drag him to the wall. Yeah, that's probably what you can't. I have Are you a nicer question for you. What do contested you... Are... Wait, wait, wait. Well, hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's in contested, what? contested strength. Check. Uh, Jackie, yeah, Shami, can one of you give me a hand with I this? I pray he fails. Okay, so yeah, contested strength. So yeah, Can I get strength. help from either... Uh, Jackie or Shami? Um, is anyone else helping you? Uh, okay, I guess I can give you help action. Alright, so Zen, you have advantage on this? And can I use... Um... I really got nothing here. What do you want me to use? Um, Just strength. Same thing with you, Airbus. Aren't we both really weak? No, I'm fucking yeah, Airbus the... has... Yeah, Airbus has the gauntlets over her strength. Nope. You try to move him, but Erebus um, gently kind of just tells you, just kind of holds your arm and just kind of holds it back, holds you back. Eh, please, eh, I'm trying to, please. I'm just skip I'm leg, to ask body, chest, question. arm, hand day. I'm trying, to, 
But then I'm trying to ask you an honest question here. Not what? yet. Who's... At least let me relocate his legs. Okay, what does... fine. Yeah, fair enough. Now a, a nicer question for you. What do your two short swords do? Uh, one of them is a regular short sword, the other one is kind of self-explanatory. Alright, okay. I'm giving him back his normal one. Oh, well, drop it next to the ground. I hope you're not going to be using that with your dominant hand. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of an issue after he resets your legs. Yeah. Uh, we were trying to dissuade him from the idea, but he's not exactly open to it. What's he 500, really, he really what's 500 gold left? What's 500 more gold? Anyway, just stay still. This is this is gonna hurt. Which pawn? Oh, all of it. Yeah, I figured as much. Hold your breath; it won't take long. Oh no, I'm not the I'm not a stranger to getting this happen. Okay, so I assume I'm gonna have to roll something to pop his legs back on. I try to help you. Okay. Thanks for, for the help, but thanks for the help, buddy. Yeah. Okay, so two medicine rolls for each leg. Oh. And I have advantage yeah. because he's helping me. Twenty-three. Sixteen. Okay. As he okay. managed to force, you managed to pop it into place, and he grits, he gets its teeth, kind of as expected, but just kind of. He very much looks pained. I'm gonna offer him a little bit of alcohol. I assume yeah, you're man. taking it from the counter. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. You might wanna, uh, so, uh, uh, kind of, you might wanna close your eyes for this next bit. And for your teeth. Okay, what are you doing? I'm going to... I'm going to try to cut off uh, his thumb and and the and the fingers right next to his thumb on his right hand on his dominant hand. Okay, you said fingers. How many are you cutting off? Three. Okay. Okay, so he's only going to have his pinky finger. Yep. Wait, this motherfucker only had four fingers. That's Is how many you have on a hand. No, no I. When I ask that question, I'm talking about the fingers besides the thumb. Oh. So he just said he just said that he's cutting off the thumb and the next three fingers. I said oh, next God. two. No, you said the next three when I asked how many. So, if you're just doing two, then yeah, okay. Well, hi. Just leave him with. Let's just leave him with the pinky. It's okay. I'm sure he. I'm sure he'll have plenty of use for it. Also, yeah. I'm trying to attune to the sword while this is going on. Okay. Yep. <laughs> you and, and he is, he is, he's, this is painful for him. Like, this is a new type of pain. Anyways. Terribly sorry for my colleague. Sorry, I just want to, uh, sorry about that. I just wanted to release a bit of pent up frustration. Uh, that's. I will at least say one thing to you, there, boss. I suggest you be careful, because well, you may not have to deal with me. There are still others in the guild who has hold a grudge against you for what you've done. My dude, we are f my dude. Me and my associates there are try are going to be fighting. A se are going to be fighting a dra a half dragon sentient storm cloud in a bit in a bit. You were the least of our concerns. Terrible. I'd say I'm, I'm more worried about the sorcerer who's after us. Well, actually, I was going to say something about that. Oh. We did meet up with that thing. And honestly, he... I cannot get a read on that, on that guy. 
Uh, the best I can gather from this is, and because he did, he did leave some final words when he, when he, after he put the bounty. He said, "Should you, should you get the chance to talk to Cro Mr. Croker, let him know that the game is on." Don't know what he's uh, referring to that as, but. Uh, so, guess, sounds like he has a real vendetta against you. Well, I wouldn't exactly be surprised. Okay, that's that, that is like way that. too that is oh, gonna, that is way too ominous for my liking. Uh, let me just put and it this left. way: I left him bleeding out on the floor, and you didn't finish him off. I this thought he was going to die of blood loss, anyways. You double this check that. Right. You double check that shit. This okay. is why you double tap. Okay, I, so was in the, I was in the middle of trying to escape from a collapsing pile of stone. Okay. Um, two things here. So, Zin, you are leaning against the wall. Um, nothing happens. You're just leaning against the wall. Um, so, there, Kalaga, you are attuning to the sword. Yes. Okay, so I'll, need, I'll give you a... I'll just give you a brief rundown, and I'll give you more details later. Essentially... Yep. In sa in sacrificing your um, a quarter of your current health, you gain reach. You gain a blood loss effect where DC fifteen con save. If they, um, depending on the save, they take three um, d eight necrotic damage or half. You just gave you, you really. We just gave Calga. Uh, we just gave Calga rivers of blood. Does it I scale with intelligence or charisma? Scales with Dex. Well, now I'm almost now. No, see, now I'm almost um, now I'm almost expecting there to be a mo uh, a goddamn Mogwin reference at some point. Well, I mean, uh, is, this is a short sword variant of this type of weapon. You know, well, now, you're gonna, now you're gonna have to give us a try then as well. Okay. It's, it has a reach, correct? Yes, it has reach. Okay, at least now I like I won't be getting into melee range again. Uh, 3d6 for the necrotic 3D8. or 3d8. Okay. Damn. Oh, that's, I guess that's it, does, it does come at the cost of a quarter of your current health. And it's a, oh. it's a is it a magic plus weapon, like plus, plus one, one, plus two? Again? Yeah, plus one. Okay, plus one. Okay, this is just a test roll, if I did it right. This isn't the normal damage and wait and now I'm trying to add the other thing there. Um Okay. okay. Um while you guys are doing this, Jackie and Peaches, since you guys haven't been joining the conversation, what do you, anything that you guys would like to? Um I'm gonna look for secrets. So I'm okay, going to. Me I'm, well, so first, uh, first off, I'm going to act use the, my concentration to activate my limited uh, true sight to see if there's anything hidden. Okay. We so let me just. I don't know if there was a, we decided there was a role on this. I know it's a concentration that lasts for a minute. Um, let me just. Uh, let's see. Is that? Oh, that's the wrong one. I went to cast this one. Yeah, I would say a third, a third level ability giving you true sight. Yeah, it's limited true sight. So it's ten feet. So, can I give him the help action <laughs> by just poking around? Um, give me, yeah, give me an investigation roll. Alrighty. Um, be just with advantage. We investigation. Ten. Nope, you don't find anything. Alrighty. All right. Anything else that you guys would like to do before we wrap, before up, we session? wrap up session? Uh, no. Did yeah. anyone check these bottles on the counter yet? I, I did. Question. Oh, you're. Are you wanting to steal his liquor or stash? Yep. Yeah. Well, that that, 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 that game's a bit cruel, don't you think? We just cut off the man's fingers. 
Hey, I could have cut off his whole entire hand. I mean, hey, at least. Well, I guess that's true, but my, you know, he's gonna he's gonna need a drink. At least leave him one bottle. I mean, then again, this guy. And then again, getting your fingers cut off in this in D and D is like. It's like getting a cut. It's easily treatable. Okay, so... I mean, it would be if we didn't take all this money. But you, st you still also need all the... Uh, you need the appendages to be able to regenerate them. Okay, Jackie. Um, going through... Are you leaving... Are you taking Kroger's suggestion and leaving one, or are you taking all of them? Lagging all of them. Okay, then. Oh, for fuck's sake. You I'm find getting... about... You find about... Let's... You find about 25 different... Um, liquor balls stashed around. Um, give me if anyone wants to try and identify how much these would be worth. Um, give me an intelligence roll. We all know I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna give it, can I? Sure. Since I have a lot of experience with different liquors, can I get advantage? Uh, sure. My especially like, especially expensive liquors. I would say that you have... Okay. So, my, apo good. my apologies for my big friend here. He's a raging alcoholic. Uh, I would say that, roughly speaking, each one of these are probably around 100 gold each. Oh, yeah. Also, hey, uh, DM, can I real quick cauterize the assassin's hand just so he doesn't bleed too much? Sure. Uh, I'm gonna offer him an Elven Bane drink, a glass, if he wants to take it. He takes it and he's like, what's this? Never seen this before. Well, it's an Elven Bane. It's quite strong. I think you need it. Alright. Just down, just down the bottle. Not even caring if he goes unconscious from it. Probably hoping to. That would be a good hope for his current situation. He's gonna need plenty of sleep. And hopefully, and anyway, hopefully he has a nice bed. Anyway, good news, guys. We got the Xanaphars Guild off our asses for a while. Yeah, until, of course, they... Until, until of course, Xanathar decides, you know what, fuck it, I can just teleport her, their asses here. Because he can't do that. I don't think. Oh, well. I, 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 I fucking hope he won't. Well, uh, yeah. Um, it's not well, like we just cut off the hand yeah, of one of his enforcers and rob the guy. Terrible. This is why. This is why I hate beholders. I just don't. This is why beholders are never, not, never great to tangle with. Okay. Well, I would suggest that you are disguising yourself, Erebus. Because if because other members of the Xenos, uh, guild is recognizing you, you're in trouble. I have a disguise kit I can use. Alga has a point. We're gonna, we're gonna yeah. want you particularly well concealed. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. This is the only. This is, you know. This is the only. This is the only situation in which I in which I think. Hmm. Maybe I should. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have a portal to the nine hells on hand for situations like this. Oh well, you want to jump into the nine hells instead of just, you know, disguising yourself. Like a... I hey, I take. I would hey. I rather. I rather go there. At least. At least it's interesting there. Fair enough. Waterdeep is not Water deep is a bit dull. It's a goddamn shithole, is what it is. <laughs> well, let's get out of here before we draw more attention to us. If only we had anywhere else in here that we could find we out. We haven't drawn any more Death attention hidden. already. I'm, I mean, honestly, I'm surprised that Jericho and his guards haven't already burst through the door. Surprisingly, you guys have been pr fairly quiet. Now, if Jackie had gone full demolition, man, that might be a different story. Oh, my God. Hey, Jackie, have you tried punching yeah. walls to see if there's anything hidden yet? Don't encourage him to do that, please. We don't need to explain. I would, I would, I would rather stuff. not explain the situation to Jericho. Yeah, I'd rather not collapse the building on top of us. Yeah, this That's already awesome. looks like a bar fight. No need to stage anything. And uh, right. those two are still alive as well. 
So what are the balls in this room like? Balls in these this room. This seems to be more common stuff. Like you see your you see your wines and you see your um, liquors, but the best you can probably find is something maybe worth um, twenty gold or so, maybe fifteen, fifteen twenty. Yeah. Like I got uh, one. Everything, else, everything else might be like five one or less than that. I grab a twenty bottle, twenty gold piece bottle and start drinking it. Okay. The healing potion. All right. Good grief. Jackie, don't use don't use a healing potion as a chaser. What the hell? Also, it burns so I good. He misunderstood me. No, no, he's using no, the liquor for healing. <laughs> oh god. As I said, a raging alcoholic. You know, that would you be want me to start raging? Okay. Did rage no, ever end? That was an invitation. You know, that would be oh. kind of funny if that was included in the drunken um, drunken monk, drunken fist monk, where they actually heal from alcohol. Hey, you're lucky. You're lucky his entire his class isn't the Florida man class from the Star Are right. you the sure it's class? not? Blood Reaver. That's what I'm. Oh, right, the, oh, oh, right, Florida man barbarian. Yeah, okay. turns yeah. out Jackie isn't the biggest Goliath I'm playing at the moment. No, he is not. All right. So, anyways, um, last call. Anything else that you guys would like to do? Okay, I'm also gonna close the. I'm also gonna close the door to this room just to make sure that if if the guards show up, they're not gonna find the assassin right away. You know, give him a little bit of time to get to the Xanathar. Okay. Well, I personally am going to head back to uh Tyrion and Mayera to the Oh hotel. yeah, I'm also going to also I I'm, I'm also going to stomp on this fr fog's nuts, you know, just to make sure that he uh, he won't forget this day too easily. Well. Uh well, one thing I would like to ask AI. Uh -huh. Before we head out, just because I know I already failed, but can I just search this area one more time? It's suspicious as f. Fine. Dude. <laughs> That's the that's the entirety of Waterdeep. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, give me an investigation. Well, let me exactly say the that entire disadvantage, disadvantage because you failed our you failed a couple times already. Because if every place was sus, then you're right. I got a four. Well, I'm out. All right, right, worth a right. shot. I meant like I meant I meant like seventy percent of Waterdeep. Yeah, and I know what you're getting at there, but yeah, at this point, like you've pretty much checked this thing and you can't make heads or tails of it. Yeah, nah, I walked into that. I'm almost positive that there is a secret, a secret hatch that the assassin will use when the guards inevitably arrive. Which, speaking of, let's try to outrun the guards before they get here. Okay. Yeah, so we're not setting the building on fire. We're not setting the building on fire. We need the assassin to be alive. Okay. I will note that you do see some people kind of looking out their windows, kind of just noticing this whole situation, but oh. it, you don't hear any the sound of guards coming. Okay. Good. I'm just going to walk away whistling a very not suspicious tune and just saying, oh, hello, random everybody. people that we are not murdering. How are you today? As they're getting everybody's attention, Jackie asks, who wants some junk food? Just asking to random people? No, uh, I mean... All party members. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, but I gave you all good berries, so you should be already full for the day. Yeah, let's just right. Yeah, let's just uh. Well, here, uh let's well, just leave, but in ran Let's just leave, but in separate directions. Just so. Well, well, I, still go for some, I, could, I, I mean, hey, listen. I, could, I mean, hey, Coco could still go for some junk for them, honestly. All right. Well, as you guys are heading off back to back to your lodgings, I think it would be a. This is a good place to bring the session to a close. Indeed. Yep. We the game fight. is on. Indeed. Okay. All right. Indeed, All right, see indeed. You guys next week. Before you leave there, Lord, just giving you guys a quick heads up. I am not going to be available for at the very least the next two weeks, if not three, ah. because of work. Yeah, I think you mentioned that. Okay. Yeah. I want Still, glad we got this session in. So, uh... well, said, well said, Jackie. Well, fuck is that? Anyway. All right. Anyway. Uh, see you guys. See you wait, guys next wait, 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 wait.
how much XP did we get? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. About that. that. Okay, so rounding it up a bit since there are six of you. Um, Would you we get bonus get XP because he was doing an Elden Ring meta awesome playthrough version? No, I already gave him, I already gave, upped his, um, because I gave him items, I already upped his challenge rank from the from what it originally is. Yeah. And then I'm also rounding it up because I don't like the odd numbers I came up with because of this small fry. Um, so anyways, you guys each get an even 1,500 experience. Uh, what does that bring us to now? Uh, we still need another 1,500 each to level up, but it's still pretty good. What's the current total? 46. Four, 45. 40. 46,400. Um, uh, do I get the description for the sword? The entire, I mean? I'll get... I, no, you already have the mechanics, so it's pretty much that. Um, uh, for a description, it's a jagged weapon that doesn't look like it would be useful at first. However, understanding it, that's kind of where the blood comes in, where it takes the blood from its owner and turns it into... A whip-like blade. Okay, and so um, it's just, like, you might as well just call it the blood. Like, the... I think it's more I like of a stream of blood. Because it's a short I like sword. to call it part of the Blood Edge series because there's possibly there's a possibility of it being used in other weapon types. Did you say right. anything uh... with its scales with decks or? It is. It is a. Finesse it weapon. is a. Yeah, it's a. It's it's a short sword. It functions oh, like a short sword. Oh, okay. okay, this is what you mean. Okay, never mind. All right, have a good night, guys, and see you next session. Ah, oh, yep, yeah, there, Lord. Whatever yeah, that's going to be, yeah. Fine. And for everyone yeah, watching, bro. thanks yeah. for sticking around, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one, wherever that is. We'll find out. The game is, uh, the game is on. Soul Catcher, whatever the fuck. One of these yeah. days, we'll find out what that means. One of these days, we will know what that means, and we're going to wish we did not know what that means. All right, AI. I wish you a lot of good luck in your work. Thank you. You can do this.